Coming up on the UB Basketball Insider, we'll preview today's men's game, a noon tip-off against Miami right here at Alumni Arena. We'll look back at the memorable non-conference starts to the season for the men's and the women's team, and we'll relive that incredible victory for the men at Syracuse. I'll hand the mic over to two of the most dynamic personalities on the men's and women's basketball teams, and I'm not sure if I'm going to get it back. We'll find out when you stick around for the UB Basketball Insider. Basketball fans on your feet. Here come your Bulls. Two on one Buffalo break. Weathers in the basket. Slam it down. Right over to Lee Johnson. He absolutely posterized Johnson. Oh my. It's about us. It's just our, our sisterhood, our foxhole. And we don't compare ourselves to anybody else. We're ready to go. We're ready to play anybody tomorrow. Diller, that is a bad, bad move out of the senior there. It's time to show everybody out there what we built here in Buffalo. Let there be no question who the hardest playing team was and when we get to the end of this deal tonight. The Bulls' non-conference schedule was one of the toughest in the nation, but they still came into 2019 with a 12-1 record, and that tipped off the best start to the season for the program since 1930-31. Their first test came in Morgantown, West Virginia, where the Bulls knocked off then number 13 Mountaineers on the national stage. C.J. Massenburg hit nine three-pointers in the contest, including the dramatic game-tying basket at the end of regulation. The senior guard would go on to finish the night with a career-high 43 points in the Buffalo win. Well, knocking off the 13th ranked team propelled the Bulls into the top 25 for the first time in school history. Climbing as high as number 14, they never left the top 25, and they remain ranked for the ninth consecutive week. The Bulls continue to roll through non-conference play, taking out then undefeated San Francisco to win the Belfast Classic, St. Bonaventure for their first win in Olean in 103 years, and dogging the Southern Illinois Salukis twice. Well, the biggest milestone win came at December 18th's matchup in the Carrier Dome. Buffalo at Syracuse pulled in an average of 572,000 viewers on ESPN2. And those that tuned in saw the Bulls surge in the second half to their first victory over Syracuse since 1963 and their first ever win in the Carrier Dome. Let's take a look back at the battle for New York State. <laughs> We need to think about what we have to do to win this game. Like, we got it, and we've been on it. Let's get the scout down. If we come in and beat them, like, you legitimize yourself as, like, a top 25 program. I think if we, if we want to be top 10 in the country, which you got a chance to be at this week, then you take everybody's best shot and you beat them. We are in central New York as UB faces Syracuse tonight, the start of a big, big week for the Bulls with a game at Milwaukee and Marquette on Friday. Tonight, and the Bulls trying to do something they have not done in a long, long time, and that is beat the Syracuse Orange. Fouls, but like, there's no moral victories with this program no more. We're, we're done with that. All right, like, like we're coming in here. We got to be the aggressors on defense and offense. We got to be smart about it, but we got to go take it from them. There, there's no more. We're coming in. If we don't go out there and drill them, everybody in this program should, should be in each your efforts to drive. So we're not going to lose a game because of effort. So we're, we're going to play harder than we get a win. And we're underway as the Bulls win the tap into our right. C.J. Masseberg snags it for Buffalo. And you use right side to Tyus Battle. Such a good player. He slashes toward the open. He runs over Devontae Jordan. Another charge drawn by Devontae Jordan. Barrett down the left sideline. Pulls up on the baseline. That weaves into the lane. Lefty runner around the rim and in. Bounces high post Harris. Jeremy a dribble to his left against Sidibe. Shovel back to Masseberg for a deep three. It's good and a foul. 
Massenberg with a pump of the fist, his second triple of the night. Left side, Howard. Howard beyond three. Rises, shoots the triple, and hits it. With three seconds left to go, in it comes to Jordan. Devontae chucks a three-quarter court shot way over everything, and we have reached halftime. Syracuse coming off a loss against Old Dominion here on Saturday, and they have never lost back-to-back non-conference games at the Carrier Dome. Right side, Massburg fakes a three. Dribbles into the circle now and bounces to Jordan. He'll try a left wing three, and that's good. Devontae Jordan's first triple of the night. Rebound, Buffalo. Massenberg on the run. Stops at the foul line, goes to straightaway Harris. He'll shoot the three and hit it, and UB is in front, 50 to 48. Jeremy Harris with a straightaway three. 50 to 48, Buffalo, and a timeout called by Syracuse. Nick dribbles toward the paint, gets cut off. Head of the key, Jordan rising, firing for three. It's good! With only five seconds to shoot, Devontae Jordan hits his second and three of the night. Dolajai, some contact, no foul. Massenberg left wing for three. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Massenberg with a big, big dagger, perhaps. Hughes left sideline, shoots a three and short. Rebound, Massenberg, and that will do it. Three, two, one. UB wins! 71-59. Buffalo remains undefeated. They are 11-0 on the season, and they have beaten Syracuse for the first time since 1963. The Bulls overcome a four-point deficit at halftime to win it by a dozen over Syracuse. With our size, we need to do a better job on the boards. I thought they were tougher than us the last 10 minutes especially. They're faster, quicker. I think they're stronger. I came here with a chip on my shoulder, knowing that we, we, we fell short last year. We're not the team like, okay, we're not going to get happy just because we came close. So this year, I just feel like we got the team to go ahead and beat them. I don't think our you know, our seniors will let, let us quit in the middle of a game. Like, we're not going to do that. CJ's been, CJ plays too hard. Carruthers plays too hard. Devontae Jordan is, they, they play too hard. Perkins been through a lot of battles. I mean, he, he couldn't get shots to drop tonight like he did last year, but he killed them on the glass. So they, they just keep playing, doing their thing. The things that wins games or the rebounds, the diving on the floor, taking charges and things like that. So even when we play teams that are more talented than us or have a bigger name than us, uh, we want to make sure we play harder because that's one thing I love about basketball. Um, no matter who you are or how good you are, if you don't play hard and if you don't bring it every night, you can't get beat. Big, big time job. Great job, everybody. Hey, Bert, bring it in. Here we go. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, I got to show that you win together. We Coming up, we sit down with Rochester natives Dante Carruthers and Sierra Dillard, and we give you both the men and the women's top five plays from non-conference. UB Basketball Insider continues in a moment. Welcome back to UB Basketball Insider. This segment is presented by SefQ, changing lives every day. This is Buffalo Basketball. I see all these sacrifices I make. It's for a reason. You get out what you put in. And I put my heart into everything I do. As the game gets tougher, we get stronger. Every second, I'm going hard. Still. We will take on any team that comes into our house. All these sacrifices I make. We grind every play, every possession. Get out what you put in. Game time. Dante Carruthers and Sierra Dillard both come from Rochester. They have known each other since high school. As a matter of fact, Dante is a big reason why Sierra is here, why she transferred to UB. They are inspirational players for the men's and women's basketball teams, both on and off the court. Let's see if they talk as good a game as they play. Go Bulls. 
That's Dante Carruthers. And this is Sierra Dillard. And we're about to interview each other. So, Miss Sierra Dillard, oh. how are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. How does it feel to lead the um, country in scoring? Uh, I don't really, like, think about it like that. Like, I just feel like I just do whatever to help my team. But it feels great. I mean, to see the talent around, you know, women's basketball and see that cheer, you know, first leading the scoring with all the, the scores in the nation is unbelievable. So it's kind of surreal. You're doing the most. <laughs> what about you? How does it feel to be ranked in the nation? I'm going to feel good. It just calls a show that, like, how much work we put in actually is paying off. Mm -hmm. So it kind of feels good. Um, just to see everybody getting the things that they deserve, but also still playing within the team. We got some real big games ahead. You know, practice is being a little rough, but you know, <laughs> I gotta enjoy them too. So, how close are you and Coach Jack? Oh, man. Me and Coach Jack, <laughs> since I've been here, I feel like I'm getting more and more like her. Oh my goodness, her her fury, her passion. I've never yeah. seen that before. And I, I don't know, I'm getting more like her. Like, I think just seeing her accolades and her, the way she lives life, I wanna be just like that. So, that's what made us closer. I love her speeches. Yeah, her speeches. Um, I mean, yeah. You can't. They want to go through a wall. Right? It's impossible <laughs> to, to listen to her and not be excited, not be yeah. ready to play. I know Coach Jack and Coach Oates don't really, you know, focus just on basketball, but they focus on the people and how, Definitely. like, they're maturing you. Yep, life aspects. And what about you? I know your path is not traditional as well. So I went to a junior college in Texas with Coach Brian, my assistant here. After that year, you know, I had a good freshman season. I ended up transferring. Coach B got us. Assistant uh, job here, it was a no-brainer. Like, I knew I was gonna come here. I believe we came on our visit the same day. Yeah, not a lot of people know that. Yeah, like, we people, really, yeah. and we didn't even plan it even. Like, we didn't talk at, talk to each other at all, and we just ended up seeing each other. And we like, what? what is you like, come is here that, I was like, is that Dante? I said, what? I was like, it was right there. It was, yeah, like, it was right there. It was the right at the top. He was like, I was hey, like, I'm about to commit. You better commit. I'm like, all right, all right, all right I got it. I will commit. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, like we were committed at the same time. This is Sierra Diller. That's Dante. Or others. And thanks for tuning in into our Rochester podcast. See you. Coming up, it's the top five plays from the men's and the women's non conference play. That's next on UB Basketball Insider. Welcome back to UB Basketball Insider. This segment is presented by Town BMW, the official auto partner of UB Athletics. No team has done what we have done. Buffalo will improve to 12 and 1. We set out to take on the best. Long NBA 3, good! We were tested. We were pushed. Harris behind the back of Perkins, head of the circle. Shoots a 3. Bullseye! A new challenge begins. Conference play. The teams have never been tougher, but we won't back down. Lost it, Braves with a two-hand slam. We play with our hearts on our sleeves. This brotherhood is about family. Yeah, a family that fights to the very end. Stop to the foul line, goes a straightaway. Harris will shoot the three and hit it. And UB is in front. No foul. Mathsburg left wing for three. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Two on one Buffalo break. Brothers in the basket. Slammed it down right over Malik Johnson. He absolutely posterized Johnson. Oh, my. The UB men's basketball team back in action today. Pretty quickly, get yourself out here to Alumni Arena. It's a noon tip-off against the Miami of Ohio Red Hawks that you can hear on ESPN 1520 or see on the CBS Sports Network. The non-conference part of the season was incredible for the Bulls. Productive would be one way to describe it. 12-1, and one, top 25 ranking, the best start in school history in almost 100 years, including wins over West Virginia, and Syracuse. Let's take a look back at some memorable moments from the months of November and December for the UB Bulls. Time now for the top five plays from non-conference presented by ECMC, the difference between health care and true care. Number five. Well, he's in double figures now at 10 points. There's a steal by the Bulls. Here's Jordan. Oh my goodness. Look at Devontae Jordan. Get some air, Jordan. Number four. Wade dribbles at the top of the key, throws it away, graves a steal. Javon out in front of everybody for the 360 slam. Wow, Javon Graves 
goes around the world, 360, jams at home. You, I was expecting something spectacular from Javon Graves, and he didn't disappoint. I was not expecting a 360, <laughs> I'll tell you that. Number three. Rebound Buffalo, Massenburg on the run. Stops at the foul line, goes a straightaway. Harris will shoot the three and hit it. And UB is in front, 50 to 48. Jeremy Harris with a straightaway three. 50 to 48, Buffalo. And the Bulls have taken their first lead of the night. Number two, left wing Molson driving into the paint now. And Carruthers picks his pocket. Two on one Buffalo break. Carruthers with the basket, slammed it down right over Malik Johnson. He absolutely posterized Johnson. Oh, my. What a dunk by Dante. He just slammed it over him. Maybe the Bulls dunk of the year. And number one. Napper is guarding Jordan as Devontae triggers it. Goes to Perkins, top of the key. Hansen Matherberg, long NBA three. Good! It's tied! 84 all, and Massenberg hits his eighth three-pointer of the game. 14.2 seconds to go. The Bulls have called the timeout after the Massenberg make. That was a long three from C.J. Massenberg. I mean, clearly NBA distance, and he swished it. An absolutely sensational performance from C.J. Massenberg tonight. The women's non-conference schedule was pretty memorable as well. The Bulls went eight and three, including wins over Canisius, Niagara, St. Bonaventure, and Georgetown. Two of the three losses came to teams ranked fifth and sixth in the country. Along with all of that, Sierra Dillard got herself to second in the nation in scoring. So let's look back at the early part of the schedule for the UB women's team. Time now for the top five plays from non-conference. Presented by ECMC, the difference between health care and true care. Number five. Dillard was looking for that inbound again. Hall, and now another three. Back-to-back -back possessions for Hannah Hall. She's starting to feel it. She has nine all from downtown. Number four. Hannah Hall now gives it to Marissa Hamilton with just two seconds to score. Hamilton gives it to Wilkins. Buzzer beating shot by Wilkins. Count it. She goes off glass and in as the Bulls regain a 22-point lead here inside of Alumni Arena. The Bulls looking to close things out with 10 more minutes of action to play. Number three. Quick jump pass and one as Sierra Dillard inbounded it to Hempill. Sort of an alley-oop layup there. Hempill jumped up, caught the pass, scored, and drew the foul. That's why she is tasked with always inbounding the ball for Buffalo. She sees Hempill cut to the basket, gets it up high where only Summer can get it. Number two. Dillard still no score here in the third quarter. Dillard now spinning her way to the basket, going up and under. She got contact at one. Sierra Dillard with a spin move contact, converts the layup, and there's your first basket of the second half. It belongs to the nation's leading scorer, now with 15 points in the first half. And number one. Now a long rebound into the hands of Dillard. Buffalo's got numbers, three on two. Dillard goes behind the back. No look pass to Morrison. Morrison goes off glass and in. Sierra Dillard and one as Morrison got it. Sierra Dillard with a silly pass over to Brittany Morrison, who converted that and one foul. Oh my good heaven, Sierra Dillard. Dodged one player with an around the back move, then faked the other one out with an around the back pass as Buffalo's bench and this fans appreciate a ridiculous effort out of Dillard. Coming up, the nationally ranked Bulls look back at some memorable moments from the past season. UB Basketball Insider continues in a moment. This is UB Basketball Insider, presented by ECMC. The difference between healthcare and true care. The UB men's basketball team is in action today, right here at Alumni Arena. It's a noon tip-off against the Miami Red Hawks. You can hear it on ESPN 1520. You can see it on the CBS Sports Network. But better than that, as soon as this show ends, hop in your car and get on down here to Alumni Arena. These MAC championship trophies bring back memories of the great moments in recent UB basketball history. More memories are being made this year. So we took 14 specific moments and got 14 reactions. 14 photos with the number 14 boots. This photo right here is vicious. He thought he was Michael Jordan, though. Vontae took off right here. They call him Vontae Jordan, you know, Air Vontae, whatever you want to call it. It was CJ Triple Double Night. You know, we always showing love to brothers on the team. I think CJ needed a haircut, and uh, 
Yeah, man, we all need a haircut. And this one, this was a rough one. Oh, that's butter bread. That's me right there. A little nice little form, you know, you know what I'm saying? This boy is probably the best shooter I've ever played with. Shout out to Javon, getting on the sports center. This is the 360. You know, showing a lot of athleticism. This is a couple years ago, he got the throw, but he need the throw back. Oh my God, CJ. Your hair is terrible. But he didn't cut his hair now. This fro C, you feel me? When he was in his prime. Oh, this for the straight charge. Bonte taking a charge on Bonnie's last year at home. We lost this game, but we just got him. Everybody know that face. I can, I can hear what he's saying. It looking like he's saying jump to the ball. You know, he like love talking to the ref. You know, he always on our side. We appreciate that. He just caught that on the other end. We just had that down here and it was a no call. Trey had a good little block right here on the backboard. He put it on the backboard. This might be a foul though, Trey. I don't know. It's a good block though. My man's Nate being long on defense. Oh man, we got Nate playing defense on here. This is tough picking Nate, you feel me? Locking up, playing some defense, you know? Something crazy just happened. Somebody just got an add one or something. Yes, sir. My shorts are a little little, but I ain't tripping. Everybody getting up, happy for the guys, you know. Everybody eats on this thing. Oh, this is a big boom, you know, I had to, I had to give me a little boom. Perk dunking it and I'm in the background like, yeah. I probably made a three or something right here. Everybody happy, Rondo pushing me. Rondo be a little extra with the push. He probably running away because Rondo breath probably stank. Rondo, he, he like the hype man on the team. Oh, this is Mac Champion right here. Whole squad in here, great experience. You see me right there, growing, good skin care. You feel me? We all in here. This, this is a good team pick, man. That's 14 photos with your number 14 bulls. The UB men's team is in action today. It's a noon tip-off right here at Alumni Arena against the Miami Red Hawks. You can hear it on ESPN 1520. You can see it on the CBS Sports Network, but better than that, make sure you're here to cheer on the Bulls. The women are in action later today as well. They're on the road at Miami. That's a two o'clock start that you can hear on ESPN 1520 and see on ESPN+. Plus. Next week on the UB Basketball Insider Show, we'll sit down with the coaches and get their take on the season so far. We'll Talk to you next week.